right, meal prepping 101. Aldi, probably my favorite grocery store because the prices, it makes living on a budget extremely, extremely easy. Pro tip, always bring a quarter. All right, guys, so let's get started and see what I get at the grocery store. So if you can see, I kind of stay away from all the stuff on the side because a lot of it will not be too healthy. So I know what I want. Grab me some oatmeal. I eat oatmeal every single day for breakfast, which I'll post my meal plan a little bit later for you. And then also peanuts and rice cakes. These are just really quick items that I could have for uh, different snacks. So throughout the day while I'm at the hospital, you know, things get really crazy busy. And so peanuts, you get some good fats in there very quick and then the rice cakes just a good source of some you know carbs and they're also very low calorie so they fill you up so these are I just want to show you guys the price of sure the price of eggs because here you can buy them really cheap also so here we get some spices I usually use some garlic salt lemon pepper stuff to season my chicken with and then these I personally do not eat these and why is because my sweet tooth is ridiculous but if you like something like this these are great healthy snacks that are only about a hundred calories each Okay, so this is where I do the bulk of my buy. I get about four heads of lettuce, a ton of tomatoes, a ton of cucumbers, and I just need these to fill me up. Okay, and so I go to all these, it's crazy cheap, and just really fill up on these good green veggies. Get some celery there. I think a cucumbers are about 50 cents, for two, or 50 cents a piece, so super cheap. And again, I mainly do this, I eat as many green veggies as I want, and this is really just to fill me up throughout the day. Okay, and now some things that don't necessarily count are things like carrots. Carrot has a lot of sugar in them. Here, I just want to show you guys the price of blueberries and strawberries. Great deals, so check it out. And then here is some turkey. I absolutely love this turkey. It is a little more expensive than chicken, but it helps me mix things up a little bit. Great macros on that. Here's the chicken I buy. Honestly, I usually get a better deal than this. It's two fifty a pound. I usually pay about $1.50 a pound. And then I bought as much as I'll need for the week. Okay, so I bought eight pounds of chicken there. Got my pizza for my pizza date with my beautiful girlfriend. It's 250 calories a serving. So, oh, sorry, beautiful fiance. Um, 250 calories a serving, not too bad. Sweet potatoes, got me two bags of those. So I could have my good source of carbs for my lunch and dinner. So I eat uh, about 200 grams for each meal there. And then here, I didn't buy these, but these would be a great choice for people that wanted this. It's very good low-carb wraps, and they're 100 calories a piece. You cannot beat that. All right, here's a look at my shopping list, everything I bought. All right, and then notice I had some detergent and stuff on there as well. So here's the receipt. It came out to $65. If you subtract the non-meal prep stuff, it came out to right at $50 for a little over a week of food. And some of the stuff I bought is going to last more than a week. The oatmeal, the peanuts, those things are pro probably last closer to two weeks. And it was only $50 a week of food. You cannot beat it. All right, so now here I am about to show you how I meal prep. So first things first, you need to have your oven set to 285 for the chicken. And of course, it depends on the thickness of the chicken and things like that. But I just, you know, do the chicken breast and 285 for about 45 minutes, okay? So then spray down your pan with some nonstick spray. Make sure it's calorie free. And then just lay all your chicken out there on it. All right, now me, I'm going to season mine with, uh, I'll use garlic salt. And then I use some garlic and herb chicken powder today so obviously I like garlic but whatever kind of seasoning you like season it with that and I just threw that turkey on there with it and the juices from that turkey gives it a nice taste as well so again put the oven on for 285 for right at 45 minutes okay now the chicken will be just a little bit pink when it comes out but that's okay because you're going to leave it on top of the stove for the next 10 or 15 minutes and it'll cook it till it's about perfection be perfectly tender you will absolutely love it, okay? So you'll be good to go there. And also, you'll see in the video here, I'm seasoning both sides of the chicken, okay? And so I really want that seasoning to go all over that so it tastes incredibly good, okay? You don't want to get tired of the food you're eating because that's a great way for your diet to end, okay? So, or your meal plan to end, let's not call it a diet. Okay, so I make the chicken taste incredible, super tender, even after, say, three or four days of it being refrigerated, it is still so tender once you heat it up. Okay, so that's because of the slow cooking process at 285, and for a long time, we're cooking it over 45 minutes. Okay, so that's a really great way to make sure your chicken is tasting great. And there's other things you could do as well as, like, cut the chicken breast in half and put some nonfat cheese in there and some veggies in there. That doesn't add hardly any calories whatsoever and really helps add a lot of flavor. I personally am not doing it here just for time's sake. You know, I need to study, do things like that. So I didn't do that. But again, you could slice that chicken breast in half and put some low-fat cheese or no-fat cheese and veggies in there. Okay, so now 
Usually I like to cook my sweet potatoes with, on, in the oven as well, but I just did them in the crock pot today because I have some errands to run. So I cooked about a bag and a half of the sweet potatoes, and if you cook them in the crock pot, all you have to do is put the potatoes in there and then put a little bit of water. And then when you put that uh, water in there, just put it in the crock pot. If it's on low, for about six hours. If it's on high, for about four hours or until the, all the sweet potatoes are really soft. And they'll come out very, very good. Now, personally, Again, I like it in the oven better because in the oven, uh, it gets to where this molasses kind of seeps out of it, and it really helps curve uh, that sweet tooth that you're going to have throughout the week. So that molasses just uh, is so sweet and tastes so good. But again, for time's sake, I'm doing a lot of things today. I didn't do that. All right, so here's the oven. We're getting everything going, and then the crock pot. So that's pretty much what I do for my meal prep throughout the week. It comes out looking incredible. It tastes incredible and really helps me to stay on top of my meal plan and make sure I do not mess up. So now I'm going to show you my fitness pal and just show you. i got my calories at 2,400. This is what I'm going to be eating for breakfast every day. A banana and apple before I do rounds and then my oatmeal afterwards. That's my lunch. You can see sweet potato, chicken. I eat the exact same thing for dinner as you can see here. Eight ounces of chicken. 228 grams of sweet potatoes, and I do weigh everything out, and then again, as many green veggies as I want. My snacks, we have a protein shake after I lift, we got those peanuts, uh, another banana for, mixed with my protein shake, ate some animal crackers, and then that's my macros that I have set up, uh, and again, I'm going to post my full diet plan on here, and then just another breakdown of everything. So I'll post my actual diet plan, and then in an upcoming video, I'll post my workout plan. And in this video, it'll show you everything I do from Monday to Sunday and each and every exercise. All right, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I love you guys. Have a great week.